This is iFiber One News. Here are today's top stories. Charges have been filed against a Grant County Sheriff's deputy who unintentionally shot his wife in August 2017. Two children who lost their battle to cancer is inspiring a local firefighter to climb. The Winter Olympics in South Korea begin tonight and the city of Winthrop has sent a message to go for the gold to their two-time Olympic sibling duo. The stands were packed to watch Big Ben play Spokane College. From the iFiber One newsroom, this is iFiber One News, and it starts now. Charges have been filed against a Grant County Sheriff's deputy who unintentionally shot his wife in August 2017. Prosecutors charge Jose Rivera with two counts of assault in the third degree and one count of reckless endangerment. Rivera remains on paid administrative leave from the Grant County Sheriff's Office pending court proceedings and an internal investigation. Moses Lake Police responded to Rivera's home on Lakeside Drive August 9th after Rivera called 911 to report he had just shot his wife, Sidney Rivera. Jose Rivera reportedly told investigators he was dry firing a gun he had just purchased and didn't realize a round was in the chamber. He continued to say he was messing around with the laser sight on the gun and had pointed it at his wife, who was across the living room, when he pulled the trigger. Investigators say the bullet hit Sidney Rivera in the right arm and went into her chest. She was eventually taken to Harborview Medical Center in Seattle, where she underwent open-heart surgery to remove the bullet. Both Jose and Sidney told police the shooting was not intentional. This is Joe Utter for iFiber One News. This segment is brought to you by... Maytag and the family pooch have a lot in common. Both are loyal, both aim to please, and both are tenacious dish cleaners. But only one can sanitize. Maytag. What's inside matters. Maytag Appliances. Now available at more furniture in Ephrata. Two children who lost their battle to cancer is inspiring a local firefighter to climb. Grant County Fire District 3 firefighter Dee Dee Brown is climbing the Columbia Building in downtown Seattle. She's doing it for Tyler Johnson, an eight-year-old boy from Wenatchee who lost his battle with cancer, and Shanna, a young girl from Oregon who died from bone cancer when she was 11. At 788 feet of vertical elevation, Dee Dee will try to climb 69 flights of stairs which equates to 1,356 steps while wearing all of her firefighting gear. The goal is to raise money for the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. I'm Sean Goggins for iFiber One News. This segment is brought to you by... Are your taste buds bored? Well then bring them to Jay's Teriyaki. Not only does Jay's have a variety of teriyaki dishes, they also offer mouth-watering salads and sides. Call Jay's 509-764-5155. Jay's Teriyaki, located at 123 East Broadway in Moses Lake. Because it's all in the sauce. Go Eric! Go Sadie! The Winter Olympics in South Korea begin tonight, and the city of Winthrop has sent a message to go for the gold to their two-time Olympic sibling duo. Winthrop natives Sadie and Eric Bjornsson began their careers as Olympians in 2014, representing the U.S. in cross-country skiing. Black Eric and Sadie! Go Team USA! Sadie and Eric, another practice here at the Metal. Hope you have a great time in Korea and ski fast. Go Sadie! Go Eric! Yay, Sadie and Eric! Woo, we're so proud of you guys! Thanks for inspiring our kids! Good luck in the Olympics! Yeah. Eric, remember everything that I taught you, which is everything. And Sadie, keep your brother in line. And say hi to the handsome Europeans for me. Hi, Sadie. Hi, Eric. Hi, Eric. Good luck in the Olympics. We're really excited that we're going to get to see you on the TV. Wow. The 2018 Winter Olympics run from February 9th to 25th in South Korea. I'm Madison Meyer with iFiber One News. The stands were packed to watch Big Ben play Spokane College. 
Big Ben made a statement by obliterating Spokane in the first half, injuring halftime up 50-22. Spokane started the mountain comeback, but it was too little too late, and Big Ben held on for the win 76-67, beating Spokane for the first time since 2015. Head coach Preston Welk shared what the narrative was in the locker room after the game. They were like, hey you guys, the key to our game tonight was we came out and we played great defense, we talked and we were active on defense. That was the big difference in that first half for us. The Spokane men's team coming to town meant the homecoming of beloved Moses Lake High School alumnus Cesar Sandoval, who now plays for Spokane. Spokane held the slight edge entering halftime up 46-43. They held the lead until about 10 minutes left in the second half when Big Ben finally pulled ahead. After Big Ben pulled ahead, they put their foot down on the gas pedal and didn't let up, leaving Spokane in the dust and taking home the 96-85 win. This Saturday, Big Ben will play at Walla Walla. Both men and women Walla Walla teams are leading the East region. I'm Adam Chikoski for i Fiber one Sports. This is i Fiber one News. For more information on these stories and other news, visit us online at ifiber1.com or check us out on Facebook.